Hello everyone, this is Scott of ET Database. This is an old discovery I made a long time ago back in 2016 about, it's on the moon Phobos. Yes, it's on Mars moon Phobos. The same one that Buzz Aldrin talked about there being a giant monolith on. Now, because he was talking about that, I was investigating back in 2016, and I'd never made a video about this, so I'm making it today. I want to share it with you, so if you've heard about this already from my website, you know uh, it's one of the discoveries I made back a while ago, and uh, let's talk about it again. As you see, you're looking at the moon Phobos right there, and when you add light to it, you'll see that there is a object, a structure, on the very top part of it and I colorized it in yellow and I'll show you that in just a second hold on here is a colored screenshot I colorized the structure on Phobos on the moon Phobos so that you could see it better and um, I just did my best I'm sorry I may have missed a few spots but I believe this is the correct uh, dimensions of this structure itself and it could actually be a spaceship or something that's landed on the moon Phobos. Now understand, uh, wait, 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 everyone, like and subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button. I don't make any money. I have no ads in my videos, and this really helps me out. Okay, um, this is the moon Phobos, and Phobos is about seven miles in radius. That's 11 kilometers. So if we use this uh, full photo of um, the structure itself, we can see that the structure is about one-fifth that of Phobos, meaning the structure of the ship is approximately 1.4 miles long or 2.2 kilometers for our European friends. That's huge, guys. That's really huge. Uh, so that, that's just quite remarkable. Let's look at this in regular. That's just regular format. And you can see the structure here, the coloration. The green is natural. It's from the ESA. And I'll show you that website right after this. In just a minute, we're just looking at some screenshots. Look at that. Look at the dimensions around here. That is just incredible. Let's see if I can make it a little darker. I sure can. Look at that. Sure can make it a little darker. Cancel that. Go back to natural. Okay, let's look at the full version. This is the large one. Okay, this is the full version right here, and what we're going to do is zoom in on Phobos, come up to the very top right here, and now we're going to add light to it. Yes, that's a little bit too big. I'm sorry. Let me zoom out, zoom out, and add more light to it. And as we're adding light, now we could see a structure over here coming out. Now my screen recorder makes my cursor hand very small, so I'm hoping it's working today. Uh, it's really a defective re screen recorder for some reason. It records it as smaller than it is. Uh, that's not a sexual joke. That is just the reality of the stupid cursor I'm using and the screen recorder. Uh, let's zoom in. Let's make it a little brighter for us right here. There we go. There we go. There we are. Now you can see it really well. Look how big it is compared to the, the moon itself. Okay, you can see the structure right up here. It is just so obvious. I mean, it just screams ancient technology, ancient civilization. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. And you can see it right up here. Isn't that amazing? Zoom back out a little bit. Zoom back out. Wow. Let's keep it right about there for a minute. That's kind of neat, isn't it? If you're looking for this, this is the actual website I found it on. And uh, this will be in the about descrip description below the video. So just click on it. It'll take you there. Like I said, I made a, uh, a post about this back in uh, 2015, 2016, uh, after I heard Buzz Aldrin talking about a uh, uh, Phobos and the megastructure he found on there and that the world would be in awe about it. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is the structure he's talking about. Maybe it's not. Um, honestly, only he knows what he saw and what he uh, knows is there. But this looks like one of those structures. Okay, now let's, in just a second, let's jump. Let's jump to see the original source this came from. 
Here we are with the original source. As you see, it's the European Space Administration, the ESA. The ESA does doctor their photos a little bit. I notice they have a lot more blur spots than other other um, uh, websites like NASA. Even NASA blurs things less than the ESA. However, this one, this photo right here, I believe they missed something that was hidden in the shadows. And all you have to do is come over here hit download and uh, it will download in your download files and you'll see it aware right over here uh, if you're using, using the Safari browser so just download it and then drop it in and the object is right over here right in this location in this part here okay guys like and subscribe if you want to use this material any discovery I make you can however I do like you to put in the about description below your video that Scott Waring found it and that it's from ET database YouTube channel and then go go ahead and make your own videos share them let's uh, teach the world together and um, uh, well thank you very much for watching